Slater Coco. You know about him, right? Well, he is now a member of the Chicago Blackhawks. The Tampa Bay Lightning trades Slater Coco and a fifth round pick in exchange for Jan Ruta, who is also a defender and a 2019 seventh. So it's a swap of picks. It's a swap of D-men here with Chicago and Tampa. And honestly, I think this is a pretty solid trade that we've seen so far. Now, I know there's a little bit of a meme going around. You can see Matt Larkin's post here on Twitter. Coco, Dylan Strom, Murphy, Perlini. The Blackhawks are cornering the market on 2011 to 15 first rounders who didn't realize potential. And some of the replies, Desperation. One of them has to hit, right? Right? And I know it's a little bit of a joke that's been going around lately, but still, the Chicago Blackhawks come away with a good deal here. Slater Coco is a Tampa Bay Lightning 2012 first overall pick. He was picked 10th overall. He's 24 years of age, left-handed, 6'2", 194 pounds. Coco is a guy who a lot of Lightning fans were expecting a player who could come in, play top four minutes by the time 2019, 2018 rolls around. And he hasn't necessarily been all too consistent in terms of being in the lineup. He's at 85 NHL games, but he's at 185 AHL games with the Syracuse Crunch. He's been up and down a lot. And last season, 2017-18, was actually his first year. I don't know if you could hear that. There are things calling outside. I think it's crows. Last year was his first quote-unquote full season in the NHL. He didn't play any AHL games, but he only played 35 Tampa Bay Lightning games. Other than that, though, he's been spending a lot of time in Syracuse and eventually sometimes coming up to Tampa, but now he is a member of the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's just establish first that by no means am I saying that Coco is a bad player. It's just that when you're a defenseman trying to break in and show that you're belonging in the NHL and the guys ahead of you are Hedman, McDonough, Strawman, etc., it's kind of hard to do that. Meanwhile, the other defender in this trade, Jan Ruta, is a 28-year-old, 6'3", right-handed defenseman from the Czech Republic. The thing with Ruta is that he played his entire career in the Czech Republic up until 2017-18, last season, when he signed with the Chicago Blackhawks. He got 20 points, 57 games, and all was good. But this season, he spent some time in the AHL, Eight games with the Rockford Ice Hogs and 23 with the Blackhawks at only six points. So he's kind of dropped off a little bit and he's not necessarily in the same amount of dominance of a position as he was last season. Now the big move here that Chicago fans are praising is the fact that the cap space is in play. Because Jan Ruta was making $2.3 million. Slater Coco, he's making $865,000. So, the Blackhawks, this is more of a cap move than anything, and at the same time, they're getting younger. Four years Coco has on Ruta in terms of development and growth. And Coco is a guy who probably could step into the Blackhawks lineup immediately. Ruta is a guy who's right-handed, so he's obviously got a little bit more value than Coco as a left-handed D. But Ruta's probably going to be... Maybe in the seventh man, maybe top six if they could find a way to fit him in there with the Lightning because right-handed defensemen are so valuable and we saw the fact that Ruta did put up a few points last year. Now, the draft picks, obviously, those are just a little bit of an addition on both sides. It's a seventh for a fifth here, but overall, this is basically just a translation of cap space. The Chicago Blackhawks gave up the better defensemen, but at the same time, they're not necessarily the better team. They're down there in the standings, meanwhile Tampa Bay is first. If there's something I'd like to probably infer, it's that Jan Ruta's probably really happy with this, because now he's gonna be playing for the Lightning, instead of foreseeably the Rockford Ice Hogs. Overall though, I think it's a good trade for both sides. Both sides get things that they could use. Chicago takes advantage of this because of the cap space, and Tampa, in a year where they're in win-now mode, I see nothing wrong with making a move like this, upgrading their defenders on their core. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video trip last of the show slash gaming. And bye. <laughs>